Plain, simple, chrome. I was gonna get French tip. Welcome back to another weekly vlog. Um, it is currently 8.35 in the morning and we're on the way to go pick up Aaliyah to go to a uh, core power class. She's Specifically yoga sculpt. Yeah, yoga sculpt. Y'all know we love yoga sculpt. Um, and yeah, Aaliyah's never done it and she wanted to hang out this morning. So we're just gonna go to yoga sculpt get in a good workout and then Anna's gonna take us to this cafe that Devin took her to that she really liked afterwards so getting a bite to eat um I basically just woke up and rolled out of bed and put on clothes <laughs> because we were running late and apparently I was being slow but um yeah here we are um <laughs> I'm glad I got my toes done now because I, I hadn't got my toes done in a minute so I'm glad I got them done because if you didn't know the class is barefoot which I low-key forget but I kind of like it like working out barefoot is kind of fun um yeah I don't know what else to say <laughs> I'm still trying to like wake up but um one thing I will say though is the weather like it is 55 degrees out this morning and I've been wanting the weather to cool down so much because it's just been like too hot like walking to class and like just being outside like it's been too hot and like I want to wear a sweatshirt and sweatpants to class and and now I'm able to because the weather has definitely gotten colder today though it's literally about to be 80 degrees which it's game day it's actually parents weekend um, I wish it was colder, just a little bit. But, uh, yeah, I don't even know. I'm in my camo sweatshirt, so, yeah. And also, if you guys see us, pretty much every single sweatshirt, like if it's graphic, has like an NFL team, it's always from Abercrombie, like 99.99% of the time. It's always gonna be from Abercrombie, so. And if you wanna know where any clothes that we like get or buy, we both have LTKs and like we literally link everything on there so it's just like a matter of like telling you guys where you can get like the direct link because if i say abercrombie you're gonna end up searching the whole website but ltk is where we link it guys i had an allergic Morning. reaction to dominoes what look my eyes have been swollen all night maybe it's like sodium <laughs> i got a burn and can you see this can you leah look at my neck I had a reaction. Can you see it? No, I literally ate it and I immediately started swelling. It maybe it was a sodium. And they haven't like I literally took those like pine, pine drinks you guys gave me and I put them on my eyeballs this morning because I don't have an ice roller. Uh, that's fair. No, I, I got a burn. I burnt myself when we were in Toronto, right? And then it like was kind of bad, but it was small. And I was putting, I put Neosporin on it one night and I, I wake up the next day and my neck is like covered in a rash. I've been trying my best not to itch it. And then last night I should have took a Benadryl, but I didn't and I don't, I know, but I don't, I didn't want to take one this morning because I would have just like went back to sleep. Like I would have not been able to function um, because it makes you really tired. Ooh, child, I look so bad. I know, I literally lost whatever tan I had. Um, it's not even winter and I'm probably, I look like, so bad. And I think it's just because my hair looks so dark too. Why are we not going? No, I think mine makes me look even more like pasty because of the blonde. I feel like the dark hair makes me look pale. I feel like in the winter though you have to be like darker because like the blonde like will wash. I want to go like dark y'all. Aaliyah, scary. I feel like if you went dark you would like immediately try to bleach your hair. Yeah. And you can't go dark and go <laughs> and back. And then go back so you'd have to like I know. stick I with it. I would immediately like regret it. Oh my, oh my god, this bus. bus. Like, hello? She knew. 
She knew to let us through. Yo, why am I scared for this class? No, what? it's fine. It's, fine. it's just heated. It's high intensity, so you're lifting lighter weights, doing more reps. And, but it's and you're you're run. just gonna sweat. Yeah, like Good. a lot. I need to sweat this shit out. your mama house, what your grandma house, keep shooting it till somebody die, so many shots, the neighbor looked at the calendar, thought it was 4th of July, you was with your friends playing Nintendo, I was playing around with that fight, sound great, I got caught with a pistol, sent me to Pantherville, 8th grade, started playing football, then I was like, fuck the field, Ninth grade, I was knocking niggas out, nigga like Holyfield, fast forward, nigga 2016, I'm screaming, fuck the deal, bad bitch with me, she's so thick, I don't even need a pill, I listened to your rap, thought you was hard, in these street for real Niggas love sneak dissing on Twitter They don't want be for real And all these niggas play like they tough Till a nigga get killed Till a nigga get spilled Till your blood get spilled I'ma ask your favorite rapper Shoot him like John Deere I've been with you since day one Savage, I ain't even hate So what's up with all that Instagram shit? Savage, I was just playing Y'all pussy nigga faking Bitch, I hang around them Haitians Pull up on you, tie your kids up Pistol whip you while your bitch naked Come on, man, Savage, you know how I always play your meats, take Yeah, nigga, fuck out that ass, you bitch, how my dick taste. Y'all Savage, why you trap? Post-class, if you couldn't tell. Um, uh, why is my face so pale? No, I literally thought you were gonna pass out. No. Because you were, like, My face ghostly. was just, I know, I know, I know. Crickets. How do you feel? Like, on a scale of 1 to 10, how difficult do you think that class was? Um, f hard. I really? literally, like, I, stopped almost every single workout. I always try to challenge myself to, like, actually do the full thing, but it, you just get so hot. Dude, it's I like, and especially early in the morning, I get, like, nauseous because I, like, have it in. Normally, if the music is good, the class is fun. Yeah, she didn't have, like, the best. Like, she had a few songs where I was like, oh, okay. When I went um on Monday, they had, like, frat music, and that's what, like, gets That's what gets you going. Like, when I take those classes, I literally want somebody to be, like, yelling. And like, I like, need someone to Keep play, going. like, fucking feet or something. Like, there's this one girl, and she's, like, always talks about how millennial she is, and she just plays, like, Kesha and, like, all these, like, <laughs> all these, like, really, like, good ass songs and i'm just like bro why are you hating like i love the music like she's like hating on herself i'm like you're playing music that's getting me going so okay so what is this cafe called um does it have know. good breakfast you have fairgrounds coffee yeah i'm just going there because it's by there yeah isn't this not a four-way stop mm -hmm. you have a stop sign they all have yeah, stop signs oh. i feel like i just ran like five miles really I just look ghostly. Oh my god. Like, I feel exactly how I would after, like, basketball games. Just, like, completely. Like, like I feel like, I feel like a feather right now. Literally, the classes are very much go, go, go. Like, she gives you small breaks, but again. You kind of take your own breaks. Yeah. That's the same with solid core, too. The only thing that I, I like how hot it gets, I just hate that when I get sweat in my eyes. It Dude, burns, I was and going it burns, up. And then it's, like, dripping off my chin, and then it, like, it's, like, 
it's my sensory like issues are just like eh. see that's why stupid. I was getting annoyed with the towel stick because all those little was on you okay. oh it's like an awareness walk I love that John and I came down here to walk one time and we went all the way that way instead of coming this way I think this way is prettier let me get a dog and walk my pups oh, that's cute. they're so stink Okay, we'll see you guys at this cafe. Matcha lattes? Yes. And then we also had a um, ham and cheese croissant and then a monkey bread. Seventy forty-five. Do you have a reward now? I do not. Right. Okay. Well, I can pay. I got it. Let me pay you. Let me pay you. It's fine. Let's. I like new now. Really? Yeah. Okay. Let me let me show them what we got. Okay. Deviled eggs. Yeah. Don't knock it until you try it. Okay. No. Okay. Yes. Deviled eggs. Everything in there just looks so good because I'm so hungry. I know. I just want like a McDonald's hash brown right now. Yummy. Honestly, I might get two. We also have this cake for breakfast. Look at the little It's birdie. a cream cake. Look at the birds. They're so steamy. <laughs> okay, then we have this. What is it? I've never had a crepe before. It's like a thin pancake. So why isn't it just called a pancake though? Because it's a thin girl. It's cooked on something different too. We got this monkey bread. Oh, that's what it is? No, girl. <laughs> I want to wait till Anna's here to try these. She got like pork and stuff. What? I'm putting this back so we're not eating it now. Eat your, go ahead and eat yours. You're hungry. Eat it. Bus. So shit. Bro, that shit is so good. The crunch. Really? I said this matcha was like delicious. Better than caribou? How is it? I can't get it open. How is it? Mine's good. I just got it with almond milk this time, so it's like not as good. It's more nutty. Really? Deviled eggs. I swear it's by him. So good. I've had deviled eggs since so good. It's good, but the texture I hate. Really? I love that. Yeah, I agree. 
I wish it was more like cakey. Yeah. It's a crepe cake. I know. Is there nuts in it? Uh-huh. <laughs> I like it without the nuts. That was like the perfect night. Look at that. I wish this was cookie butter so bad. I think it'd be a bajillion times better if it was cookie butter. I it's, have got, it's all like... like you know what I should have got? I should have got one of those Hammond. They're so like flaky and salty. I'm gonna go salty mood. Even though I'm eating this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This I would literally bring home and warm up and give it like this an eight. This was really good too. I hated that. That I gave like a six. Like, what? I gave that like a four. Mm -hmm. The texture like threw me off. I thought my crepe that was like had banana and peanut butter in Mexico is better. It's a crepe cake. Right? Um. Well, you guys didn't let me try double that, so I don't know. I didn't know. I didn't think you liked them. I didn't like how much filling there was, but I, I probably liked the wouldn't. Flavor. I probably wouldn't have liked the like the filling. You wouldn't have but liked I, the texture if you don't like the I do like double eggs. You do? Yeah, I just don't know what it is about that crepe. I don't think there was like that much flavor in it though either. Like, um, the ones when you eat at Devin's family, or though I feel like those would be better. Yeah. Like, um, well, this ham just... and cheese. If it didn't have mayo, I would have fucked it up. Yeah. I want to get one. Is that a weed? Would you split one with me? Does that if you want to get one, I'll try it, but I don't want to split it. I'll eat the other half, unless you get it with mayo. <laughs> they only come with mayo. They're already pre-made. That's the ish. <clears throat> I really liked it. That cake? No, everything. I liked everything. I liked how fresh it was. Like, these tasted really fresh. This tasted really... Mine was like hot. This up again, you know? My croissant was hot, I suppose. Okay guys, it's currently Sunday, um, October 6th, and yesterday after we went to brunch with Aaliyah, we actually had a game day, it was Minnesota versus UN, or USC, and we actually won. Your girl knows little to nothing about football, but I know that we were not predicted to win that game, so it was super cool to be there. Um, Lex and I were only there till halftime. We'll insert some flicks from the game, um, but Devin stayed for the full time and a bunch of our friends did and they rushed the field which was super cool so that was pretty fun um, it was just a long day I feel like game days are always like super long because the game was a night game but people would be starting at 1, 2 even earlier like college football especially being in the Big Ten is pretty big but Today, Lexi and I have honestly had a really productive day. Um, I filmed a little Sunday reset, so I pretty much just reset it, my room and my space for the week. I really truly feel like it helps me set really good vibes and just all around productivity to start my week with a clean space. I do it every week, but I don't always vlog and share it. So yeah, I posted that after I spent an hour editing it. So show some love if you have not already. And now Lex and I are actually gonna go on a run slash walk. And we actually have something really fun with this like run because we're actually both getting the opportunity to partner with Spotify. I'm doing a little hot girl walk playlist and Lexi's doing a running playlist slash vlog. So when we share these, you guys will have access to the playlist that we listen to when we go on our little walk slash runs. Y'all know me, I'm not a big runner. I've gone a couple of times. Lexi got into it this summer and it's starting to get cold. So we're trying to appreciate the nicer days and go outside and move our bodies when we can. But yeah, 
we're gonna do that and then actually Devin planned a little date night for me tonight and I'm gonna bring you guys along with it because it's like fall themed and coded and I think it'll be like cute to share with y'all in the vlog we're just gonna go to dinner and then we're going to this like pumpkin carving light type of show and um it's kind of like the stuff they do for like the light shows but like halloween themed so i'm really excited i think it's very like cute and then i even have a like my outfit my sweater um devin got me so yeah it'll be cute it'll be fun this week is actually pretty busy, so y'all are gonna get a little bit of an inside scoop. I feel like we have been literally so busy with traveling and school. Like, school's really been taking a lot of our time, and I feel like I haven't really had much time to relax, but this is the last year that we're gonna be in this sort of situation, so I feel like I'm trying to soak it all up because I do like school, Lexi likes school, it's just hard sometimes, so I'm like, I'm just trying to lay, like, I don't want to be, I don't want to be doing all that, but nonetheless, what can you do? So, yeah, that's the plan for today, kind of chill, low-key Sunday, and yeah, it'll be, it'll be fun. Unfortunately, I would say we could bring you guys on the walk, but I know we're going to be filming, like I said, for the partnership, so I feel like until it's approved, it's we can't share that, so yeah. Until it's approved, we can't really share the content. So yeah, you'll see it up on our socials. Make sure to like and comment when it's up. But yeah, that's the plan for today. And then tomorrow we actually don't have class, so I definitely want to go to- Well, we have like a Zoom. We have a, yeah, we have a Zoom like later in the evening, but we don't have any class because um, there's like a big nutrition conference here in Minnesota, so. A lot of our teachers have canceled class. Oopie. Hey. What's wrong? She always comes out when we're about to leave. Bubba. Stink girl. But anyways, I figured I'd just give you guys a little update and yeah. We're just going to get into this weekly vlog. Lexi also has an exciting trip coming up, so she'll share that with you guys probably tomorrow because she has some maintenance stuff she has to do for it, but yeah, hoping this is a productive week. I saw in some like recent comments people were saying that we've been doing the same thing, but like once we're in school, it's kind of hard to not because we have class every day, we have certain things we have to do every day, and we try and jazz it up here and there with like going to brunch and going to a workout class with our little sister and trying new places, trying new coffee shops, traveling when we get the opportunity to and stuff like that. But if y'all don't like the little weekly vlogs and stuff that, you know, can kind of get repetitive um, in some ways of like what we're doing physically, um, don't watch them. But I do feel like we always have like new stuff to share and new life updates and things that we've learned or done or anything like that so I feel like it's interesting I actually don't mind when people have like a solid routine um, because I value structure so I like seeing that in other people but yeah just want to give you guys a little update and I will catch y'all when we're going to dinner okay this is the sweater it's so cute I'm going for very cozy vibes because it's actually pretty cold out and then look at Devin's outfit put it together himself very fall coated period then we're gonna go to a coffee shop charge the car and then head on over to the little I don't even know it's like a jack-o-lantern yeah trail maze yeah Devin lost his voice at the game too <coughs> yeah it's like cryptic you're like not even in the rain because you're too tall <laughs> Thank you. This looks really dark on camera, but I promise it's not that dark.
this. It's been a while. It has been a while. Good? Like I was kind of worried at first when we went in with all the little pumpkins, but it actually turned out being like a lot more than it was like what really, we anticipated. Really cool. The art was like super so high cool. High. Yeah. And they like they covered everything. Thank you for coming. No, I agree. That was so cool. I really don't know how well you guys can see me because the lighting is so weird but I have a nail appointment today because these are so outgrown I also actually probably like hated this set because I feel like the color of my nail is way too white for like my skin tone um so I'm very happy to be taking these off because it's been about three and a half ish weeks I want to say which is quite long for for me to be honest but I wanted to wait a little bit because I have a really exciting shoot this weekend and if you guys didn't know I'm going to LA for it and I'm really excited um I'm really excited that's all I'm gonna say I'm not gonna say too much but it's gonna I'm so excited um <laughs> I know I've said that but um yeah we gotta get these done I'm thinking white French temp no, not tip, tip, white French tip with chrome, but, um, yeah, I'm gonna keep it plain, I'm gonna keep it simple, and I'm gonna keep it how I like it, just gonna, hopefully, 
I'm only going to be in there for an hour and a half. But lately, I've been in there for two. Really hoping that's not the case because I have a lot of stuff that I have to do. We are very fortunate to have class canceled this morning and tonight. Um, there, Anna mentioned yesterday, which yesterday was Sunday. Today is Monday, by the way. Um, that there's a really big nutrition conference being held here in Minneapolis. And so... I, a lot of my classes, like if I had a class today, I don't, um, which is very nice, but I have a lot to do. I've had three campaigns I've had to turn in today. I have, um, I've done a few assignments, but I'm trying to like work ahead because my flight is Thursday night. And so I want to make sure that I'm getting all the stuff I need done. Cause I literally, I, it's Thursday night because I have class Friday morning. And if I had a flight flying in Friday, that would not work, even though the shoot is Saturday. Um, so yeah, I'm just giving myself time. I want to be able to like still attend class not miss anything and because i've already missed class before um because of the toronto trip so yeah i'm really making this work um late night red eye flight thursday so yeah but um other than that hasn't been too crazy today i've just been like literally since i woke up walked i literally walked four miles i was editing content i didn't even get to lift which is fine because some days are just like that but i've just been go 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 today so i'm gonna listen to some music or a crime pop podcast and i'm gonna get my nails done so that's it also i wanted to show you guys i don't know how well you can see this so i burned my neck in toronto I don't know if you got I don't know if I ever said that but I literally burned my neck I posted about it with my little curling iron I use it to like touch up my curls it's literally like a fourth of an inch and I got a little burn and it was like like probably the size of a dime and then I put I got Neosporin I got burn cream Neosporin and I completely broke out in an allergic reaction to it like my whole neck is just covered in this really really itchy like rash and it's low-key it's kind of similar to the heat rash i got in the summer that was really bad and it took two weeks to go away that was actually probably one of the worst like reactions i think i've ever had i got it right after i was done tanning and i think it was because of the i i think it i could have even had an allergic reaction to the um new tanning oil i got because i literally just used it that day i just opened the bottle um but yeah my neck was literally just on fire this past weekend um i literally didn't put anything on it after the neosporin because i like I don't know I was scared so I took a Benadryl last night and it actually worked pretty well and I'll probably take one again tonight if I can and I've been putting a th only one thin layer of cort uh, cortisone cream hydrocortisone cream on it and that's been really good I don't want to apply it too much so I've been very cautious and I want this to go away before the shoot because I don't want to put anything on it to cover it it is like it hurts it's like inflamed I literally can feel it throbbing and I know I should go to the doctor and I called the like the nurse hotline or whatever we have like we have something like that like at our school where you can just call and like talk to them and she said I probably did have an allergic reaction and just to like minimize the amount of products that I use and even to like ice it so that's what I've been doing but it's gotten a little bit better honestly today's the best that it's looked but anyways besides that let's let's go get these nails done I've been yapping too much I fear hi
more beaches, I might just third you. I'm geeked on next week, but no more beaches, I might just burn you. Yeah, I'm stuck with little pussy, I'll use some shell toes. Yeah, I'm slapping rap beaches and making bail, ho. Yeah, I'm two tone cardi, yeah, match the nails, ho. Yeah, I'm no competition, these beaches stay a ho. Okay, you guys, here are the finished nails. These are also gonna be my nails for the shoot. Just plain, simple chrome. I was gonna get French tip, but then she said she didn't like know how to do it that good, and I was like, mm, I will just opt out because I will probably get upset if they were like not done how I want them to be done. But um, I like the outcome, very natural. I haven't done something like plain in a minute, low key. So about to drive home, and then Anna's gonna make dinner. She's been making this. Um, well, actually, I've been making this meal prep, and um, she's gonna make it because I've been hanging with y'all for a, a minute. So yeah, and I need to get some stuff done and turn in some content, but. Yeah, nails are done. I was only in there for, I want to say an hour and a half because I don't know if y'all saw, but she kept scratching my nails with her nails. And that's why we wear gloves. Um, so yeah, <laughs> safe to say I wash my hands right after. I also don't like you, like, I don't like getting the, uh, lotion and the oil because they use that for everybody. And I'm just like, I will wash my hands and put that on at home especially with getting the chrome it can be kind of like messy so okay but I'll, I'll see you guys um back at home guess who's back hey queen she just got fed she just got fed so she's plump her is full of juice her is full of soup I think that's what they say on TikTok. hey queen hey queen okay Lexi just got back she showed me her nails, they're really cute. Very simple, but good for a shoot just because you don't want to have anything like these causing attention. By the way, you guys, I actually wish I would have logged me getting this set because I'm not even kidding you, this is like straight off my Pinterest. Like this looks so good. This is probably the best set I've ever gotten. And look at stinks. We aren't twinning. She always has French tip, bro. What? Because <laughs> of her pot. But anyways, Sorry. we're going to show you our, You're well, gonna I'm going to show you guys. Hello. Um, <laughs> I'm going to show you guys you our current, like, meal prep situation. This is probably the easiest, like, meal that we've made, like, literally ever. It's a one-pan thing. It's from um, Teeny's, like, one of her re recipes. Love her. But Love her we life. We made it first time with chicken, but I like it better with the sausage. And you know what? Guess who said sausage? Guess who said, let's try some sausage? And Lexi's like, no, that's not going to taste good. And guess like, what? It's better than sausage. the chicken. It's better than the chicken. So this is literally a one pan deal. All you do is literally season the vegetables that you want. Throw some olive oil, butter on if you want. Pop it in the oven. Girl, what about four seasonings? Yeah, I'm saying season it how you want. Oh. Not if you want. How you want. Oh. Anyways, um, yeah, pop it in the oven at what, Lexi? What? Like 350, 450? Um, 400. 400. Go. Pop it in the oven at 400. And yeah, that's literally it. So let's get into a little cookie montage.
separate this into two pans. Bon appetit, y'all look at that. That looks so good. That looks so good. So we finished dinner. Literally, Lex and I are gonna get into grubbing and then we're actually just gonna study as well as start planning for a trip we're going on. Um, it's not 100% for sure, but we're like 99% sure. And it's gonna be really exciting. Um, we'll probably tell you guys later on in the week where we're going if it's like secured by then but let us know if you guys want to see a vlog when the time comes because I don't know I don't, some people vibe with the travel vlogs some people don't vibe with the travel vlogs so if, I also feel like it's kind of a shorter trip it's more of a weekend trip so it might be kind of hectic to vlog like we might just have to show clips and stuff that we uh, take short form but yeah I guess I guess let us know but yeah we're just gonna eat up and relax for the night because this is probably the only night that we're gonna get to relax before 8 p.m. so see you guys tomorrow um empty ways hey you guys um I am currently it's currently the next day it is hmm what day is it hopefully you can see that but it is Wednesday October 9th I'm currently at what Haven Beauty Collective because I have an appointment to get my teeth whitened and to get a spray tan because I am like so pale right now I have not seen the Sun in so long and um, I have a shoot this weekend as you guys know and mm, I just need to look my best and I think that I, the last time I did this shoot, it was in the summertime. I was in my peak tan, so yeah, I'm gonna get us. I'm gonna get a spray tan, and I'm gonna get my teeth whitened because I saw they do it, and I'm just like, mm, why not? Like, why not? Especially because my teeth are like so sensitive to the Crest whitening strips, and I'm just like, like I'll do it. I think I'm gonna get a rapid spray tan too, so I don't have to leave it on as long. But I think I'm here. It took forever to get here from the city. This is in Minnetonka. I don't even remember the last time I've been in Minnetonka. It took me 35 minutes to get here. It was so confusing. I took so many turns and exits, and I'm surprised I didn't make a wrong turn. But here we are, and yeah, that was kind of stressful. Um, so this is going to be like an hour, hour and a half appointment, I think. Hopefully, I'm going to get to vlog it. Hopefully, they let me. Um, I'm going to ask at least to do the teeth whitening. The spray tan, obviously, I'm not going to vlog. But... Hopefully they let me, but y'all, 
I woke up so sick this morning like and I I just feel like I got over what I had but I feel like I'm getting whatever she got and if you guys didn't know wait there's a, like a one if you guys didn't know Devin had pneumonia like right after Toronto he went in and he had pneumonia and <laughs> I think Anna has it like she has all the symptoms and I am scared I don't want to get it but I was already sick so that makes me think like what if I already had it but like I didn't go to the doctor but yeah and also, I got aloe. My my reaction is looking so much better. So I actually feel pretty good. I think I'm just going to have her go over it just a little bit. I don't even know. Or actually, I might not. I'm going to ask her. I know it's not smart, too. But if it's just like a pale, weird patch on my neck, like, you know what I mean? That might not be the smartest. But I did put a layer of aloe on it. So I don't know if that will, like, help the spray tan not, like... I don't know we'll see i'm gonna ask her but it's 10 56 my appointment's at 11 so i'm going to head in right now hopefully this is it i think this is it hi um is this the um sorry b for teeth whitening yes and and a, yes okay perfect hi, how are you? i'm good how are you <laughs> Then I have this little guy, so I'll have you read through this front and back. Okay. Basically, in your um, confirmation email, there was a link on how. So, in the tip of that is some vitamin E oil. And what I'm going to have you do is grab this, and you're going to put that on your gums, okay. avoiding your teeth. Okay. Okay. So, what that's doing is it's creating a little bit of a barrier on your gums in case any gel gets on there, and it's also hydrating them and nourishing them a bit. So, I've advanced some gel here, so I'll give you this. At first blush, this really doesn't want to stick on your teeth, so I find it's easiest if you kind of smush it on your tooth and then shimmy it around a little bit, and then you can kind of pack okay. it onto the teeth. Okay. And ultimately, what we're looking for is a nice, thick layer. You don't need to get all the way back to like your far back molars. Mm -hmm. You want to try and keep most of that off of your gums as well. Now what's going to happen is you get to just kind of chill. Mm -hmm. um, I'll pop in like every four or five minutes and make sure that you're doing good. If for any reason you need to move this, do exactly what you've been doing and just use the sides here. Okay. If you touch the black part, it resets the whole thing and it's kind of a nightmare. So lock that wheel down so it doesn't roll away from you. Feeling good? Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, I'll be back in a little bit. <laughs> You guys actually let me hold y'all up in better lighting okay this is me <laughs> post spray tan ah, like i mean like okay i feel like it's because i was so pale earlier and i looked so dark obviously this is gonna um have to be washed off in four hours i did the rapid one four hours so at 4 30 i need to rinse my body just with water and no lotion um being this tan i guess makes my teeth look like white like white i have gotten my teeth whitened i think like professionally i would say twice right and i feel like both times they literally used a kit that i could have 
bought like off of Amazon if that makes sense so her having this whole like light and like literally when I was applying this stuff I noticed my teeth like already start to like lift and whiten I did get a little bit on my gums but like you just put vitamin E oil and she gave me another one she also gave me the um tube that I like was using and I could like put it in with my toothpaste or I can come back and get a touch up with it for like a lesser price but y'all she was so nice and like sweet and I am so satisfied with coming here. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hype them up. So this was, um, if you live in Minnesota, Ingrid, wait, Ingrid Kent LLC, and then it's at the Haven, the Haven Beauty Collective in Minnetonka literally amazing service i got the glow job appointment so that involves getting your teeth whitened and then you can either get like a, a like a regular spray tan or the rapid express um <laughs> why do i feel like i'm already darker <laughs> in the 10 minutes that i've been talking or the 10 minutes that it's been since i left um but yeah amazing 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 service like i am so like my teeth look so white you guys like i'm shook like, I'm shook. I did the, I did two 20-minute sessions. Like, best be known I'm coming back to get my teeth whitened because that did not, like, hurt or tingle my teeth. And, y'all, I have, like, sensitive, I, I feel like I have sensitive teeth when it comes to the Crest whitening strips. I have this other brand from Amazon that I do use, too. But, like, they, like, doesn't matter how many times I use them, doesn't matter how many times I brush my teeth, like, I don't know, like, just some stuff. Like, like I just have a little bit of yellowness on my bottom and some on my top. Child. yeah my teeth are so white anyways I love that obviously the tan is gonna make my teeth look more white too but like hello like what obsessed so I actually brought an energy drink and this like yogurt smoothie thing I can't drink that I can only drink water for like the first hour and then plain foods I don't I can't have like berries anything that's gonna stay my tea she literally said like chicken and mashed potatoes so I don't know what I'm gonna eat for lunch but yeah this is the vibe we had one class today which I actually did have to miss for this but um I like already went over the presentation already notified my professors so y'all do not clock me but um yeah I don't like literally the rest of the day I have to study and I have to pack for this trip and then I also were getting dinner with one of our friends so yeah that'll be nice um hopefully I can eat something I don't know where we're going yet but we'll plan it out so I can eat but um yeah wait I'm obsessed so now I have to drive 30 minutes back home so yeah I'm gonna call Anna actually you know what I should call her let me get you let me get her like reaction bro why didn't you answer your phone I'm filming I wanted to show you what I look like Bitch, you're not gonna even believe. Oh, I need a film. Anna, you're not gonna believe how white my teeth are. That's you're all. You're gl glitchy. Can you? Lexi, can I you need to just do it at home. You're like so glitchy. I can't hear anything. Anna. I'm hanging up. No, no. Bruh. <sighs> Anyways, I am so impressed. I need to like charge. Actually, her car's at 47. Do. Let me ask her if I should charge the car. Why is she acting like that? I literally just wanted to like show her the results. Child. Also, um, y'all, I don't know why lately, let me get real for a sec. I don't know why lately I have had so much anxiety. Like last night, I literally, like I know this is random and coming, like it's coming out of nowhere, but I've been thinking about it today. I have had so much anxiety as of recently for no, like, I, I don't know why, like, I don't, okay, I do know why, but, like, I don't know why, and it's crazy, because last night, I went to bed at 10, I could not go to bed until 11, because I was making up, like, scenarios in my head, or I was just, like, I had, like, my heart was racing, like, I literally could not calm down, I had to take a lemme chill gummy, and that put me to bed, because I was just, like, let me chill like why am i why am i why is my heart racing 
all this and all that but it's crazy because like I don't know I don't know if it's because of the shoe I don't know if it's just what I got going on obviously like school and everything is a factor but I just feel like life has been so go 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 and like we have another trip next weekend that just like was super super la like last minute like I got a week's notice week and a half ish notice basically and so and I love it like I truly am so grateful and I feel so blessed but at the same time like I just get so oh wait not the lighting I'm trying to dim my vibe um I just get so anxious but I feel like like in this case I do know why I'm feeling it so much I just gotta like you know just like tell myself to calm down and like practice gratitude and like I am forever grateful for like the experiences that I get to have especially at my age and um I just need to like check in with myself and like I know I have a lot going on and I don't really get that much time to like rest and relax during the week so I just think I need to like take a few breaths and honestly just like remind myself like I'm cool I'm calm I'm collected and like this isn't anything that I can't manage like you know what I mean it's just a random thought but like I just had like an overwhelming feeling I have been having these feelings this is so random is that like random I just went from like being annoyed at Anna because she didn't answer my call and then this but I just had to like speak my truth because even right now I'm like why is my heart beating so fast but anyways also I got like a ton of anxiety driving here so that's also a thing wait my ear is like a bit sticky but that's another thing but yeah now I need to charge the car which I've never done before on this car on this car let me charge the car and then um go home and hopefully eat lunch and yeah that's the plan I'm so happy with these results like literally so happy I love that okay anyways bye Okay, first of all, tell me why I walk in and you're like sitting on the ground. Because I do my voiceovers in my bathroom. It's less nice. Also, guys, I'm pretty sure I have pneumonia. I told them about that. Okay, jump scare. I look like the peanut butter baby now. Okay, I feel like I can even go in and get a second. Oh, wow. But like, it lifted. So, like, she had like whole thing. And mine was at a four out of like all of them. So, I like felt pretty good. Because I was trying to like, like, oh, like, mine are like a six, like, whatever. Because like, I just feel like I get a little yellow at the bottom of my teeth and at the top of my like just front teeth. Like, these ones are so white already. But, um, yeah, I feel like they lifted like literally three shades. Wow. Yeah, they look white. And like, did it hurt? No. Like, it did not hurt, and it was like, I just sat there, it was like two 20-minute sessions, and like, literally, I like, got like, the gel, like, pen thing that she used, and I can like, put in my toothpaste, like, it started lifting when I was applying it, and then you have like, the light thing, mm -hmm. like, I would go, like, because my teeth are like, feel like so, like, white, they lifted so well, mm -hmm. but, um, yeah, I can't eat, like, any foods that are fixed to stain my teeth, no coffee. No coffee, no berries, no carrots, no nothing. Damn. But, um, like, what do you think? This no, it looks tan. good. I think this spray looks good. You look tan as fuck. <laughs> Let me show you this. Can y'all see this? Period. It's yeah. giving summer us. Well, because she was like, how dark do you want to go? And I was like, well, how dark do you have? Like, I don't want to be, like... Too dark where it look, looks unnatural, obviously, but no, I should think that looks like summer, like you look tan. That's what I said. I was like, the last time I did this shoot was peak, su like a peak summer tan, so that's what I'm going for now. And um, she's like, normally I tell people to do it two days before, and like you have your flight and everything, because like I was told her about that. And I was like, yeah, like today is the only day that I can literally do it. So yeah, and then I just wash it off at four. So and she said like if you're like a little like darker than you want to be like you have time but also like to preserve the tan like don't use any lotions with like mineral oil coconut oil is fine but like mineral oil in specific apparently like rubs off the tan or something like that hmm. but I think yeah it looks really good and it was very easy and she put like this powder stuff so I'm like not sticky and she did normally she only does one layer on your face but I told her to do two because I was like my face gets so pale so I feel like my face is like really dark right now. I think it looks good. Like, look at me and you. Look at the difference right now. Like, winter versus summer. Sugar cookie season. Okay, you guys. 
pause so yesterday i yesterday i don't know why we're still sitting on my bathroom floor but anyways stinky girl stinky. But, but listen to a mom talk she's so stinky she has a little she's a vet appointment you guys she's got a little bumpy on her head we don't know from what i don't know she's just getting old and her bones are like more prominent but i was feeling her head because i she's like to scratch her head. On her head and she has a little like bump don't touch it. No, I was just like, but she has. An it doesn't hurt when you touch it or anything. But yeah, I she, know. She, but she has an appointment next Tuesday, just because like that's concerning. But anyway, so yesterday I started to feel ill, and Devin had like, well, he had like the, early. Have the, what, time, uh, what time is it? Twenty six. Okay, so um, Devin had like early sim like early onset pneumonia. I don't know what exactly what it was called, but he I think basically that was it. yeah he basically had like pneumonia in his system. Um, like when he had went in, they said that he had had it in his system for the last forty eight hours, and so they put him on antibiotics. So he was feeling symptoms, but it wasn't at like what it could have been, which is really good. But I thought because he had it all of last week, and I mean we were together. So, like, normally if he gets sick, I get sick, but I hadn't gotten sick. So, I was like, you know what, I'm fine. Like, maybe he got on the antibiotics soon enough, and, like, we kind of missed that window where I could have gotten sick. But yesterday, I literally felt like dog shit. Like, we literally didn't vlog at all <coughs> on Tuesday because, A, we were really busy with classes. Like, we've told you guys, Tuesdays and Thursdays are our busy days, and then... B, I just like was ill and I'm ill today, but I just took two day quill, so I'm feeling a little bit better and I filmed stuff, but I'm just like, I've never had pneumonia and like one of the main symptoms is like a sharp pain in your chest and I feel that because I feel like it's hard to breathe. Like I'm like, like if they ask, you know when doctors ask you to take like a deep breath and they like check if it's steady, literally mine would be like, <laughs> cause I'm like, I literally can't like, she can't breathe. breathe. But, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to go in yet soon or not because, like, I mean, I probably should. But I yeah, just don't have time. Should. You have to make time. You told Devin that same thing. Ain't that right, Ubi? You're going to get Ma sick. Here. Stinky girl. She's so cute. Now we have our team meeting with Kayla and, and Annalise. The team is expanding, you guys. So. Hey, Anna. Hey. How are you? Um, <laughs> I was good, but I feel like I'm getting sick. Uh, Devin had pneumonia last week, so I'm kind of scared oh. that I'm gonna get it, even though he was on antibiotics. So I'm hoping it's just like the change of the weather and like it being drier out, but I've also never had pneumonia, so I don't know like what symptoms or what. So I'm just gonna drink some tea and <laughs> hope yeah. that I don't get sick. Oh okay, so we just got done with our weekly meeting. Um, with we have like two people like on our team now, kind of sorta. So yeah, we just basically like what goes on in like a me a weekly meeting because we've kind of talked about this stuff before, but it'll just be like a background of like kind of where we're at with like brands, negotiations, um, reviewing briefs, reviewing content. You know, Lexi's going on a quick little trip this weekend to LA, so, you know, they're getting, like, her flights figured out and stuff like that, and just, like, the whole, like, BTS, basically, of, like, content creation. We have this meeting usually once a week, just so that we're, like, staying on top of due dates and, you know, concepts. Basically, it's just, like, a BTS of, like, all the stuff that goes into content creation, and like I was saying, we have the meeting once a week just to make sure that we're staying on track of everything right now it's actually kind of chill even though like we're still really we're still pretty busy like i have you know filmed and edited a video today already i have two other videos that i need to film and edit and then like a trend thing that i'm like looking to post and stuff like that and i also already got back some revisions on another sponsored post that lex and i are working on together so it's a lot that actually like goes into it and then even though this is chill it's still busy and then it's gonna pick back up because of the holiday and like black friday and shopping and stuff like that like that's usually pretty busy if not the busiest time of year so we're trying to enjoy 
the kind of steadiness before it gets pretty busy but it's still really exciting getting to partner with brands that you like and love and be able to share and promote that product to an audience because you truly like you truly like it and you like the product and everything like you know Lexi and I like there's kind of like a couple of different tiers with sponsored posts and like promoting products and I would say like one one of them which I feel like Lexi and I do a lot of the time is you know we truly love the product we truly use it and we get the exciting opportunity to partner with the brand to promote that and then there is another tier where you like the product you may not use it like every single day or as often as you know some other things you know like especially depending on the product like skincare products you can use them every single day but like clothes you might wear you know once that week or a couple of times that week or whatever for like an extended period of time and so you know, might not be fully in love with the product but you still like and enjoy it and <clears throat> excuse me are opening open to sharing that product with your audience because you know I if I like it you guys might like it we have similar interests we have similar likes we have similar styles we have similar X Y and Z like if you get what I'm saying so Vic that's like kind of like a reminder to like keep in the back of your head when you like think of like sponsor posts you see them or whatever because like I'll see creators and I'm like oh my gosh yeah like that is so them and then I'm also like oh my gosh yeah like I know they use and love that like there's kind of like two different tiers when it comes to that so yeah that's my little content creation tidbit of the day um yeah I'm honestly just gonna write out this day quill and <clears throat> finish editing the video that I'm working on and then film my other two videos my little trend get that up and post it hopefully and yeah tonight we're getting dinner with a friend I don't know if we'll vlog it because we literally could just be going to Chipotle like I really really don't know but I'm gonna ask him what what's the vibes so yeah that's really what Wednesday looks like we had class and thank gosh it was on zoom like oh yes I am so over these in-person classes. I do not like them. I don't know if it's COVID that familiarized me to being online or what, but I just feel like I can get so much more done when I'm in class online. First of all, driver bus time saves me. Um, also, I feel like I can pay more attention when I'm in a comfortable environment. Like a lot of times when I go to class, I'm literally freezing. Like my feet are cold in my Ugg boots still. That's how cold it is in these classrooms. So. I just don't like feel like it's the right environment for me to pay attention in like a classroom like I just really don't enjoy it I would love to go to a coffee shop and be in a zoom or <clears throat> whatever or do my homework on my own time why do I need to do an in-class activity when I can do that activity by myself without having to talk to anybody and know that I made sense of it and can do that and submit it like I just don't understand the point of in-person classes sometimes like I get understand like if you have a lab or whatever it's a hands-on whatever but I just don't think everything needs to be activity and discussion based like I'm just not that type of learner so this semester has definitely been hard with how time-consuming classes have been because the amount of stuff that I got done today and still had school and still did homework and still did assignments but I did it in the comfortability of my own home which allowed me the flexibility to eat when I want do what I want be warm enough and all the things so yeah I don't know that's my little rant with school and social media but yeah I mean if we check back in today we check back in obviously you guys saw Lexi have her little maintenance for her trip and then tomorrow we will be taking you guys with us to class for a couple of them <clears throat> for a couple of them and we actually have class from 10:45 to about 5 and then Lexi is going to the airport for her trip. So I think tomorrow will probably be the end of the vlog because if I don't feel better, all I'm doing is rotting in bed this weekend and Lexi's obviously gonna be gone on her trip. And unfortunately, it doesn't really make much sense for her to vlog it because it can't be included in this weekly vlog. So yeah, that's kind of like the update <clears throat> for the rest of the video, but yeah like procrastinating talking to you guys because I don't want to.
trust. I'm not the type of person who like overworks when I'm not feeling well because I literally am doing what I need to do today and tomorrow so that I can do nothing this entire weekend and Friday. That's my mindset with this. <clears throat> so, yeah. See you guys when I see y'all. Thank <laughs> you. 